everybody! Today we are going to show you the baby snakes from this year's breeding season, or last year's now, that we decided to hold back for future breeding projects. We're going to show them to you, explain why we picked those to hold back, and we're going to try to feed them. species that we decided to keep this year were Madagascar giant hogs, false water cobras, tricolor hognoses, and we're going to show those to you first and then end with the beautiful plains hognose snakes that we decided to hold back. First let's start with, um, let's see, let's start with the pile. Yeah, there's quite a pile here. I think we're gonna and, start and with- And your Starbucks drink back there. Oh yeah, that's off screen. <laughs> They're not supposed to know that I'm caffeinating it up this whole time. All right, we're gonna start with the two Madagascar giant hognoses that we held back. And just by looking at the front of their bins, you can probably guess why we held these back. These are kind of picky eaters as babies we learned this year. Thanks to our friend Rich at Reptile Basics, we learned a good trick which to get them to eat, which is taking a frozen frog and letting it thaw a bit until it starts to kind of get dewy almost, yep. squishy. And then you take a mouse and rub it on the dead frog and then they eat the mouse. It has worked kind of off and on for our babies, but these two- well, These ones are eating like a champ. They're eating unscented, Aww. frozen, thawed. Oh, you flipped your cave over. And they are growing so fast as a result. Here's one of the babies. Hello. Oh, oh you're huffy to all oh, my baby. goodness. Wow. As you can see, we transferred them from the paper towel bedding to a tropical bedding so they can burrow a bit. Oh. Wow, you are oh. angry, so angry. This one in particular pinched its skin right here and got a scab. I have no idea how he did it. Weird. Yes, but he, he healed up just fine, he or she. I don't know, let's see. Uh, that's a long tail, I would guess a male, but. We don't have it on the card, so. Nope. So yeah, he healed up. He's just gonna have a scar from it, but that's kind of another reason why I wanted to keep him is because I wanna see what that's gonna look like as an adult and we don't wanna sell a baby with that kind of a scar. But it's not genetic or anything. He just pinched himself somehow and he's still a great eater. Mm -hmm. So we're keeping this guy back. Will you want to eat? I doubt it. <laughs> you are a good eater though. Here, do you want a fuzzy? Oh, it smells good. He says no. Okay, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Doesn't want a fuzzy. I'm gonna put the lid, well, maybe he won't escape. Don't escape. Calm down. Okay, the other Madagascar giant hog started eating right away, even before he started eating. And because of that, he's even bigger. Oh, yeah, this he's one. Like a sub adult. This one is Oop. definitely a male. I we're guess you can't trust him. Nope, okay, let's going on. This one is definitely a male. The other one we're not oh, positive on super yet. Super shed too. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, you You're are zombie in mode. Super zombie mode, look at that. He's like, what is going on? But he is so chunky and so big, he's growing so fast. We decided to hold back these two boys because they are from the same clutch. And so we didn't want to hold back a male and a female because if you breed two siblings, there's more overlap in their genetics than if you breed a baby back to its parent who had different parents, you know? So there's actually more genetic diversity by breeding a baby back to its parents than to a sibling. So we decided because of that, we're gonna hold two back that are the same sex. So we they won't breed at all, even if they are kept communally. And these are kind of just backup males for our really big, getting rather old, male that was their father actually. I mean, he's not showing any signs of slowing down. He he's eats not... all he eats all the girls food if oh, we let him. Yeah, yeah. I just figure it's good to have a bagot plan yeah. just in case cuz he's wild caught so we don't know how old the little take you him are. 2 years. Well, it'll take him it'll well. take him 6 months to get he's to his damn size. So fast. This is the biggest. Well, this is one of the biggest holdbacks we have so far from this year. He's just a monster. Will you eat? Uh, not in zombie mode, you I don't know. He's a good eater. Do you want a mouse? He doesn't yeah, want to nope. eat. Okay, I don't blame you, dude. You are full zombie mode. I will just let you chill in peace in your tropical little box. So yeah, those are the two Madagascar giant hog noses that we decided to hold back. Also, don't mind my nose. It's from a surgery that I had. If that you video watch, should be out already. You've probably already seen the video. If not, go watch it. That'll explain all of this. Madagascar giant hogs. Done. Next up, the tricolor hog noses. We have two in here together because they're so small, we figured we'd keep them together. We did, again, move them from the paper towels to a more permanent bedding. And let's see if we can find them. These two are eating really well. If you remember from our first video of tricolors, there were three babies. One was really tiny or smaller than the other two and had a cool zigzag pattern. Unfortunately, that one never ate, never thrived, and just didn't oh. make it. Oh, there's one, the though. One. We decided to keep the other two, though, since they are good eaters. 
Hello! Here's one of them! Hi, cutie! Oh, you're getting so big already! Yes, you are! Oh my gosh! Okay, so there's one. I think that's a long enough tail to make me believe male. I'm not positive, Stop though. Stop looking at my butt, yeah. guys. Sorry, sorry. Maybe we'll compare you to the other one. Where's the other friend in here? Oh, there he is! Oh, bit smaller. Guy. Yeah, this one isn't eating quite as well, but it's still eating, like sporadically at least. So yeah, we've got... Oh, he's got a little arrow on his head. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. And this one, um, tail is much shorter, so I would think this one's a female. Not positive though. So yeah, we have those two baby tricolors. Doubt they're gonna eat for us, but we're gonna try. You want this? It's tasty. Don't eat me! <laughs> Don't eat my hand! Don't open your mouth at my hand, but no, I'm not the f What are you doing? Eat the mouse. There you oh, go! nice! Wow! Yeah, so he's a very good eater. It's amazing the size difference in just babies when one's a slightly better eater than yeah. the other. He's like one and a half times the size of his sibling. It's amazing to see the growth difference just yeah. in, like, we've moved from one time a week to twice a week. Oh, yeah, that makes a huge difference, And just too. to see how fat, like, the bull snakes this year, when I was yeah. shipping them out, they were twice They're the size. Ginormous. Yeah. yeah. They're monsters. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna watch this guy chow down on a pinky. Sweet. This guy is such a good eater. Ate right from my hand on camera. That is fantastic. So, continue on to your finger if you let him. Yeah, he might. He tried to eat my hand earlier, too. So the reason why we held back a pair of tricolors, even though they're not a fancy morph or anything, is because tricolors are known for having short lifespans, and that's primarily due to females laying so many eggs, so many clutches every year. They just deplete themselves of their own resources, and they die early. I don't know. I think males also have a very short lifespan, too, but must be for other reasons, because they're not laying eggs. They're just a shorter-lived species. Sure enough, our female laid four clutches this year and she's about due. If she were to lay a fifth, she'd be laying one soon. I hope she's done. We haven't been feeding her extra to encourage her to lay eggs. She's just doing it. So she is living up to that standard of, you know, tricolors breed a lot and they die early. So we are keeping, don't you try to eat my finger. So we are keeping oh, this so pair. Oh, so It's a pinky. Yeah, yeah, you want to eat my pinky? Oh, no, okay. Oh, that so one scary. must be smelly or something. Yeah. So we're holding back this pair uh, in preparation for when our adult pair passes away because they're already about four to five years old. So we should three. still have three? I think they're three. Hmm. COVID years though kind of all blend together. Yeah, but we, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> three to five. Yeah, they're three to five years old. So hopefully we still have them for a few more years though at least. Yeah. But this is for when that time inevitably comes. All right, those are the tricolors that we're holding back. Next would be the false water cobras. So one of these is for sure a holdback. The other one is a maybe holdback. We have a male up here and a female down here. Let's check out these babies. Oh, look at oh you, you're gosh. right up top. So this is, this was the male, was it? Yes. Okay, yeah, so the male here, we decided to hold back because we don't need like a future breeder male. We already have a couple. We'll actually get to meet a new one of ours here pretty soon. We decided to hold him back though because he's such a pretty, or maybe hold him back. He's such a pretty like golden color. Don't touch me, how dare you. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. We might be holding wow, back. He doesn't, he's a lot lighter in person than on camera. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's like a caramel color in person. He's so yeah, he, pretty. He's like a golden brown yeah. on camera. And he's a fantastic eater too. And so that's a nice uh, check mark on our qualifications for holdbacks. We don't want to keep the picky eaters like our picky Madagascar giant hogs, the picky tricolors, picky, we do have some picky false water cobras. We're not going to keep those. Once they do start eating regularly, assuming they do, a couple of them haven't thrived unfortunately, but most are starting to learn to eat. Those we will be rehoming as pets and we will be keeping the best eaters ourselves to encourage good eating lines of false water cobras. Yep. So he's pretty and a good eater. So we decided, you know, for now we're going to hang on to him. The one we are for sure going to be holding back though is the female. Where is she? I bet she's under her water dish. Ah, oh, there she is. Aww. Yeah, she's not as big as the male, but she's still a good eater. And she was the uh, one of two females and the only female that decided to start eating unscented frozen thawed relatively right quickly. Yeah. yeah. So we decided, you know what, we're going to keep her. It'll be nice to have another female down the line for breeding just to add to the breeding group. We don't necessarily need to, but 
These are also the first false water cobras we've ever bred, so we wanted to keep one as a memory of making these babies for the first time. Yeah. So, you gotta yeah. have a Roger baby. That's right! On the flip side, she looks exactly like she looks on camera. Does she? Yeah, so okay. what you're seeing here is very similar to what he looked like, but he was about three shades lighter. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. If she doesn't eat, he might, because he's a big chunk. Let's see if she wants to eat, though. Eat it! Ew. Why are you touching it? Yeah. Don't want it? Okay, let's see if the male wants it. Yeah, we are definitely going to be upgrading these guys this weekend. I did not realize how big they were. But yeah, it's it's time for an upgrade. So they won't be in these bins actually for very long. Do we, oh, well, hello. Do you want a, uh, a hopper? Smells pretty tasty. Oh, <laughs> so gentle. Oh. Look at him using that venom that he's not really using yeah, at all. Just right. chewing down on his food. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is cruising. Look at him walk <laughs> his jaw along the mouse. Oh my gosh. Um, um, um. Must I eat, eat as fast as possible. If I eat fast, I might get a second one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. We don't even have to speed that one up. No, we don't. He you just... need to give lessons to that tricolor, dude. Yeah, really? You are a vacuum. Maybe we could name him Hoover or something. <laughs> you just are sucking that right down. Okay, yeah. Shark. He's shark. Oh, that'd be a cute name for him. All right. Well, that, those are our false water cobras <laughs> that, that we're holding back. That was really quick. All right, cool. We're going to upgrade these, and next we're going to show you the baby lavender hog noses that we decided to hold back. We might have a problem with hog noses. Yeah, this might be all the hog noses we kept this year. We held yeah. back nine baby hogs. But look at how cute they are. Oh, but they're all so cute! Yeah, and the ones on top are just normals too. Yeah. Everything on the bottom is a lavender. <laughs> okay, so this baby is the Om Nom and Lumpy. You're from the Om Nom and Lumpy Clutch. This one is the Conda that had the cool stripe down its back. I can't remember, are you a fe- I think this one's a female too. Yep, this is a female. Well, then it's good to keep her anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she did, we mainly kept her because we wanted to see if she would retain that dorsal stripe. Yeah, you still got it. And she kind of did, yeah. Maybe so, we can make like a stripe line. Yeah, maybe, that'd be kind of cool. Like things like that can be line bred. Yeah, So hot we're gonna, line bred. Hot line bred. So we're gonna raise her up and breed her and see what kind of condos she makes. She's a gorgeous conda already. She's only gonna make gorgeous babies, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we held back her. Story on this one. This one is a female, it looks, it's a normal phenotype, which is what it looks like in person, but it's genotype is it is, I guess it's conda, but color wise, it's het lavender. Oh, so okay. she is, you are a girl, right? And we're having your babies. Yes, a girl. I'm surprised we kept any of those. Kept, oh, just a normal? Lives, yeah. Well, we decided to keep this one because she has a cool stripe down her back. Okay. Uh, so I guess we went with a stripe theme for our holdbacks this year. Next year it'll be splotches. That's right, a yes. splotch theme. But we also really like that stripe, and she's a nice conda, and she's het lavender. So yep. this would be another good breeder, I think, in the future. Decided to keep those. And then, and then the rest are all lavenders. All lavenders. Yes. Look at this chunky one. Oh, that one is getting so big. I'm gonna poke you. Poke, poke, poke. Oh, angry. <laughs> So the lavenders here are really showing some interesting changes in their color. So well, let's take out this one at the end. This is just an, an example of a nice but still standard coloration for a lavender. They're all technically condas because of their genetics. Some are just different, like, intensities of conda. Uh, more sp uh, what's that? What's the term? Splash? Expression? Oh, uh, yeah. High expression. Yeah, so this is an example of a low expression conda because it doesn't really look like a conda. It still has a lot of spots like the normals do, but because of the genetics, it is still technically and a conda. And let's see that belly. And the belly is all purple. solid. That's another sign. It has the white walls down its sides. So this is a, a nice lavender. And this is color-wise a typical coloration for a lavender. This is the one male, actually, that we held back. So this this boy is the only male. The rest are all girl lavenders. <laughs> but We definitely have a problem. <laughs> yeah, but he has such nice colors that we decided to keep him. And we can't just keep females. She is still upset that I poked She's her. so mad. But okay, now let's compare him to all of these different girls. Just because since he's a standard, he'll be a good one to kind of compare everybody to. Here's our first lavender female. Look at the difference in their spot patterns. She is much more faded. She has more circles on the sides of her body rather than splotches on top. She's also got like a brown exterior with a purple underneath. She she does, yeah. So just kind of a weird color to her. More of a like muddy lavender yeah. color. Next female is this lovely lady. Again, kind of a muddy color, but she has a stripe down her back. And she has almost no 
splotches. Like, yeah. They're all faded yeah. splotches. Yeah, she's a very faded uh, lavender, faded conda, I guess. But yeah, that's kind of an interesting color to it. Well, not as nice of a lavender, in my opinion. This one, however, is a nice color. Nice lavender. Miss Sassy Pants. Miss Sassy Pants, right here. She has a very faded pattern, but a really nice purpley lavender color. Yeah, very faded conda with good purples like he she makes him look brownish yeah yeah she kind of does honestly all right so that's her this one is i think one of my favorites it's a tub full of dirt that's right yeah this is the invisible this morph this is the easy one to get so do you remember there was one baby lavender <clears throat> from when they hatched that looked bluish this is her oh. she's turned silver Ooh. look at that She's like a silver colored yeah, she lavender. Almost looks exanthic. She does, yeah. And a nice uh, kind of traditional conda pattern to her. She has some nice contrast. But yeah, that color, I just can't get over how she turned from kind of a blue to more of a, a silver color. So really pretty. That she's been fun to watch grow. See, this one right here is kind of a pinkish colored lavender. It has some nice pink hues, especially in the sides of its body. So this guy on the left is the new one? The yes, girl? yep, this okay. is the the new female. The one on your right is the our control male. Okay. But yeah, look at that faded pattern again, but still a nice lavender color and really cool little spot Maybe patterns. the lavender does that, where it like kind of fades out the darks. Maybe. Yeah. I wonder. Like, some of them, though, some keep of them the contrast. Yeah. yeah. And last but not least, we have the pink baby. This one, actually, wait, I'm sorry. This one, oh, that is a male. I think, no, that's a fi Oh, that's a tough one. Is that a female? Uh, I think I think our control here might have been a female all along, because I just remembered it was the pink one that was the male. Oh, that's right. We kept yeah. the... Yeah. So we decided to keep one male lavender conda from this year yeah. because let's see, are oh, you a male? Yeah, oh my gosh, male. definitely a male for sure. Okay, so. we decided to keep him because he's kind of pink. Sorry, little girl. <laughs> yeah, you're a girl. Sorry. Here's the boy, actually. That Weird. We he doesn't show pink at all. He shows brown. On yeah. Camera. He. It, well, he honestly looked more pink when he first hatched. Now he's kind of turning brown. Kind of a muddy. I wonder if we'd actually want to keep him there. And we say brown, but it's still, like, it's cream. Yeah. Like, cream, pinkish, uh, purplish cream. Yeah, I mean, well, compared to this normal colored one that we looked yeah. at earlier, now you can really see the lavender colors, like, in contrast or in comparison. So we've got normal wild type here. Lavender and technically lavender, but kind of looks more cream colored. So yeah. yeah, just really interesting babies here Should we see if any of them are gonna eat? Sure. I bet that female won't eat. <laughs> yeah, probably not <laughs> These guys have been really good eaters right from the beginning. There Oof. you go. There's one. Do you want a pinky? Okay, there's two. Mm. Do you want one too? And three <laughs> Three eating hog noses. <laughs> this is another reason why we kept back so many from this clutch the, and, and the following clutch, since the mom actually laid two clutches this year, they are just such fantastic eaters. How could we not keep them to yeah. encourage good a good eating line of hog noses? None of them needed scenting. They all took right away. And is they it, eat. I'm going to put a little warning, a little asterisk. This isn't normal, by the way. Like, not for most hog noses. people who get hog noses don't expect to be able to do that. Like, no. these are, they wouldn't do that as babies. They're used to us, they're used to the environment, so they're yeah. willing to eat. But most people, let your hog nose figure out its environment before you start feeding it. Yeah. Then feed it lots of meals before you attempt anything, like if you ever attempt something yeah. like this. Good disclaimer, good disclaimer. <laughs> this is not normal baby hog nose behavior. These three are just, actually this entire clutch, I just don't want to fit more in my hand. They are all amazing yeah. eaters. What are you going to do when one finishes and there's two more and it starts going after your I hand? To put that one down really quick. <laughs> so yeah, those are our hold back babies from this season. I'd say overall we had a good, like, well, no, not a good. We had a great breeding season yeah. in 2022. I still wish we had some of the other ones that didn't breed for us like the bull snakes like the bull snakes or like some yeah. of the albino hog noses this year yeah that would have been nice but maybe but, next year they yeah. will and the mexican black king snake eggs went bad guys just to let you know since some people were asking we did prove though because there were some people that were saying we had a bad year due to the led lights oh yeah in the past yeah yeah, yeah. and so, that wasn't this year no so it must not have been leds that caused us to have a bad breeding year I'm sure a it was years just ago. the movement the move here yeah. yeah it must have been getting used to new environments yep all right well thank you guys for watching let us know in the comments which holdback from this year is your favorite i think my favorite oh man it's got to be one of the lavender well no never mind it's that um false water cobra the false water cobras nah. i think are my favorite clutch from this well no i like the lavenders yeah. too i like this uh, little girl Oop. There. she's such a dainty little eater she is the other yeah. two are like we're done already give us more and she's like i'm still 
I'm still enjoying my meal. She's savoring her food yeah. a bit more. Gosh, that's a tough decision. If I had to choose just one, I don't know. I mean, we kept all of them. We kept all the holdbacks because we like them. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were some amazing snakes to hold back this year. No bull snakes. I feel we like have, we, we have, have enough. enough we have enough bull snakes. Yeah, we didn't We'll get hold to a point any. with hognoses too where we're like, we're not holding yeah. any more back because yeah. we have too many. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know what your favorite one is in the comments. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And we'll see you next time. Oh, she got it down. Well, Emily's trying to get rid of the extra pinkies she had, and so that's four for four. She's trying five for five. Let's see if she can get lucky with all five. Do you want the last one? Yes, she does. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. So five out of five <laughs> hog noses that you tried to fed. Fed? Fed. You tried to feed. They all feeded. They all feeded.